Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is teacher eligibility test related to central that is central teacher eligibility test. Paper 2, social science class 6, our pass 1 and CERT. In the previous class, we have learnt about in the part 1, first and second chapter, all the important questions. Today we are going to discuss third and fourth chapters in part 2. Let's begin with the question. When railway lines were being laid down for the first time in the Punjab, engineers stumbled upon the site of Harappa in present day Pakistan. That was nearly 150 years ago. These people, engineers, stumbled upon the site of Harappa, in, which is in present day Pakistan. Now, let us understand the statements related to site of Harappa, very, very important. In these history chapters, so many statements are there. They are very, very important. You need to understand thoroughly. All are covered. You need not go beyond this. These are more than enough. So, let us begin with the site of Harappa. What statements you have to remember? See, uh, it seemed like a mound that was a rich source of ready-made high-quality bricks. And it carried off thousands of bricks from the walls of the old buildings of the city to build railway lines. Many buildings were completely destroyed. These are all correct related to site of Harappa. Next question, when did the archaeologists found the site and realized that this was one of the oldest cities in the subcontinent? That is about 80 years ago. Now, Harappan cities were developed about 4700 years ago. Now, let us understand the statements again. Many of the Harappan cities were divided into two or more parts. Usually, the part to the west was smaller but higher. Now, archaeologists describe this as the citadel. Generally, the part to the east was larger but lower. This is called the lower town. These are the two important terms you need to remember that is citadel and lower town. These are the two important things here you need to remember related to the statements. Now, where Harappan cities were found that was in the Punjab and Sindh in Pakistan and in Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana and the Punjab in India because Punjab in Pakistan is also there. So, Pakistan, in Pakistan, Punjab and Sindh and in India, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Now, archaeologists have found a set of unique objects in almost all these cities. So, what are they? Let us understand. First one is red pottery painted with designs in black stone, black stone weights, seals, special beads, copper tools and paralleled sided long stone blades. These are the things found by archaeologists in these cities. Now, where were special buildings constructed in some cities? The already I told you citadel is a very very important point you need to remember on the citadel a fortress typically one on high ground above a city that means citadel how it looks let's understand here like this on the highest area this is called the citadel in this area a fortress typically on high ground above a city. Then here in the, uh, sorry, here in the lower area, this was the lower town. Now, where, where was a very special tank which archaeologists called the Great Bath constructed? That was constructed in Mohenjo-daro. Now, let us understand a very, very important topic related to the Great Bath uh, these statements are very important. This was lined with bricks coated with plaster and made watertight with a layer of natural tar. Now, there were steps leading down to it from two sides while there were rooms on all sides. Now, water was probably brought in 
from well and drained out after use now perhaps important people took a dip in this tank on special occasions now these are the four important points we have to remember here that is this was lined with bricks and coated with plaster made of water tight with a layer now there were steps leading down and also there were rooms on all sides now water was probably brought in from a well and drained here and after the use they let it go drained them then perhaps important people only this is very important important people took a dip in this tank on special occasions now next question which cities had fire altars where sacrifices may have been performed the, those are the places kalibangan and lothal very important question which cities had fire altars that is uh, uh, earlier days they used to do the yagnas like this they used to have the fire altars here here fire will be there and they will sit around it and they used to do the uh, perform the yagyas or something now these are the two places kalibangan and lothal now name some cities had elaborate store houses where they had elaborate store houses mohenjodaro and harappa and lothal now let's see here the cities the earliest cities in the subcontinent here let's quickly see the map very very important here here you can see the harappan site here rajagriha here mohenjodaro pakistan here the, then chanhudaro very important place dholavira and surkhota lothal these are lothal harappa and mohenjodaro are very very important sites now houses drains and streets they were very skilled persons at that time itself how they have constructed their houses drains and streets these are the statements we have to remember generally houses were either one or two stories high with rooms built around a courtyard now most houses had a separate bathing area and some had wells to supply water now as the drains were covered inspection holes were provided at intervals to clean them now all three houses drains and streets were probably planned and built at the same time these are the very important statements now what was found in harappan site with which children must have played so these are the toys they found here here you can see the toys here many terracotta toys have been found here now let's understand the seal how they have done the sealing and all the signs on the top of the seal are part of a script you can see the picture here this is the script now also it's not decoded here this is the earliest form of writing known in the subcontinent scholars have tried to read these signs but we still do not know exactly what they mean now stone weights at that time itself they have used the stone weights notice how carefully and precisely these weights are shaped these were made of chert a kind of stone these were prob probably used to weigh precious stones or metals then beads many of these were made out of carnelian a beautiful red stone the stone was cut shaped polished and finally a hole was bored through the center so that a string could be passed through it so these are the beads they have found now a stone statue of an important man found from mohenjodaro shows him wearing an embroidered garment and bearded here you can see the picture now the stone blades were also found here who made seals out of stone and these are generally rectangular and usually have an animal carved on them the harappans now where cotton was probably grown from about 7000 years ago that was at mehergarh this is very very important question mehergarh is very very important place where cotton was probably grown from about 7000 years ago 
Now, actual pieces of cloth were found attached to the lid of a silver vase and some copper objects at Mohenjo-daro. So, this point is also very important here you need to understand. Then archaeologists have also found spindle whorls made of terracotta and faience. These were used to spin thread. Now, let us understand about the faience. What is it? Faience is a material that is artif artificially produced. A gum was used to shape sand or powdered quads into an object. Now, the objects were then glazed resulting in a shiny glazy surface. The colors of the glaze were usually blue or sea green. Fiance was used to make beads, bangles, earrings and tiny vessels. Now, the Harappans probably got copper from present day Rajasthan and even from Oman in West Asia. These are the assumptions probably they might have got copper from this is. Now, tin from where the, this which was mixed with copper to produce bronze may have been brought from present day Afghanistan and Iran. Gold could have come all the way from present day Karnataka. Now, precious stones from present day Gujarat, Iran and Afghanistan. These are given in the book. So, we have to give these answers. Now, a new tool the plough was used to dig the earth for turning the soil and planting seeds while real ploughs which were probably made of wood have not survived toy models have been found this is the one example of this toy model here a toy plough, plough was found by the archaeologists what do we know from remains of plants that the harappans grew that was wheat barley pulses peas rice sesame linseed and mustard. These are very important plants which were grown during the Harappans period. Now, the Harappans reared cattle, sheep, goat and buffalo. Water and pastures were available around settlements. These are the two statements we have to remember. Now, which city located on Khadir Bet, also spelled as Bet in the run of Kutch where there was fresh water and fertile soil that was Dholavira. This place is also very, very important we need to remember. So, which city located on the Khadir Bait, also spelled as Bet in the run of Kutch, where there was fresh water and fertile soil that is Dolavira. Dolavira is a very important place you have to remember and it was divided into three parts and each part was surrounded with massive stone walls with entrances through gate. Now, what were the finds include large letters of the Harappan script that was large letters of the Harappan script that were carved out of white stone and perhaps inlaid in wood. Now, which city stood beside a tributary of the Sabarmati that is in Gujarat close to the Gulf of Kambat that is Lothal very important place many questions can come from this that is Lothal we have to remember which city stood beside a tributary of the Sabarmati in Gujarat close to the Gulf of Kambar that is Lothal. Now which was an important center for making objects out of stone shell and metal that was Lothal. Now let us understand the statements related to Lothal which are very important. There was also a storehouse in the city many seals and ceilings so the impression of seals on clay were found in this storehouse. Now, where was the huge tank which may have been a dockyard found? That is Lothal again, we have to remember. What was the building found in Lothal? Probably a workshop for making beads, pieces of stone, half made beads, tools for bead making and finished beads have all been found here. Now, let us understand related to the seals, the statements. They may have been used to stamp bags or packets containing goods that were sent from one place to another. After a bag was closed or tied, a layer of wet clay was applied on the knot and the seal was pressed on it. Now you can see in the post offices they do the seal work here. Same way at that time itself they have done this. That means so skillful persons at that time itself. The impression of the seal is known as a sealing. If the ceiling was intact, one could be sure that the goods had arrived safely. That means nobody has opened it or touched it. Now, when do we find the beginning of a major change? 
that is after Harappans, that is around the 3900 years ago. Now statements, let's see related to this. Some scholars suggest that the rivers dried up. Others suggest that there was deforestation and this could have happened because fuel was required for baking bricks and for smelting copper ores. Then besides grazing by the large herds of cattle, sheep and goat may have uh, destroyed the green cover. In some areas there were floods but none of these reasons can explain the end of all the cities. Flooding or a river drying up would have had an effect in only some areas. So these are the possible reasons why these cities have got destroyed or people uh, left these places or destroyed all these points we have to remember in assumptions or reasoning or in statements whether true or false or which are correct which are wrong these kind of statements can come from this topic so we end up with the third chapter uh, uh, some more points are there i think it appears as if the rulers lost control sites in sindh and west Pan in Pakistan were abandoned while many people moved into newer smaller settlements to the east and the south. New cities emerged about 1400 years later. So these are the points we have to remember. Now one more question I think. Around 5000 years ago kings ruled over Egypt. These kings sent armies to distant lands to get gold, silver, ivory, timber and precious stones. They also built huge tombs known as pyramids. When they died, the bodies of kings were preserved and buried in these pyramids. These carefully preserved bodies are known as mummies. This is given in the chapter at the end exercise you might see that from there this question has been taken. A large number of objects are also buried with them. These included food and drink, clothes, ornaments, utensils, musical instruments, weapons and animals. Sometimes even serving men and women were buried with the rulers. These are amongst the most elaborate burials known in the world history. We also we all know about the Egyptian mummies. So this is the important thing we have to remember related to this. That is around 5000 years ago kings ruled over Egypt and they have got gold, silver, ivory, timber and they built huge tombs which are known as pyramids and the bodies of kings were preserved and buried in these pyramids and these were called as mummies these are the very important points so i will continue this fourth chapter in the next class if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below thanks for your attention and time happy learning